Good day, guys. Guess where we're headed today? It's a secret, but I'll probably let you know in a little bit. Kind of exciting for me today. So, come along for a ride. I'll show you when we get there. No, nope, not Freightliner. Nope, not the golf club. No, nope, not the way station. How about the casino? That'd be fun, right? But, nope. How about the No Tell Motel American? They got a pool. But, I don't think my wife would like that too much in the middle of the day. Carry on. Yeah, baby. Going to the John Deere dealership. So, I'm going to go on in and pick her up. And we'll let you see what I got. Well, there she is, boys. One great big box. It's from the John Deere dealership. And look at that. A brand new snowblower. So, 320 pounds, I think that is. You should see me trying to get this out of the back of my truck. Should have videotaped that for you. That was fun times. Fun times. Guess I'm a professional now. That's right. Professional. So, we'll get at that. Get her uncrated, get her put together, and I uh, will. I don't have any snow right now to test it out on, but hopefully, we'll get some tonight. Yeah! All right, we're gonna get going on this. Let's get her started anyways. Got the Weiss rig in here now. And that barely fits in here, man. Just touches the mirror, or just the mirrors just get in on each side. So can't wait till I get that garage door in. It's a nine by eight, so I won't have any problems. So but that's another project another day. This whole area is another project another day, so. Uh, well, I'm going to start getting her uncrated here, and I'll show you what I get. Alright, so I got the top off, and then I noticed the instructions for this. This is going to be interesting. So, step number one, cut around the dotted line on the top, which I did. Okay, easy enough. Step number two, take the top off, I did that. Then cut along the dotted line on the bottom. Down there. Easy enough. And look it. You pull the top off. Step number three, pull the top off. And then uh, all of a sudden, boom. Step number four, she's together, you roll her off. So maybe this will be simpler than I thought. Take, take the sides off. Boom. She goes together. And you roll her off. Boom, boom. We'll see what happens. Well, there she is, boys. All put together, all done. Wait a minute. What the? That's a John Deere. That's not it. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled ya. Wah, wah, wah. They lied. It doesn't come together. After you take the sides off, it doesn't automatically pop together. So I guess I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work. But it should be fun. And that's what you get. Doesn't look like it'd be too hard. Flip that up, make some connections, and go romping in the snow. Here's the chute. Got the instructions and the little gadgets and stuff inside that box. Put it together. Put her together. Directions up there and the display card. For selling it. So give you some fuel stabilizer and the start cord and these little gadgets here so and then the operators instructions and stuff like that so alrighty there right. right oh oh never put your hand in there 
dual stage. Oh yeah. You could probably knew that already. Ideal for heavy snow conditions with 12 inches or more of snow. So I guess I can only use it when there's 12 inches of snow. I don't think so. He's using a little bit here with no inches of snow. Well, three easy steps for starting. Turn key on, turn choke, knob, knob to choke. Prime it two times and let it rip. Alright, Briggs and Stratton engine. Overhead valve. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Oh crap, you guys probably didn't even know I left. Oh crap. Well, I did leave. I finished the, the van. Got that out of here uh, yesterday and called her a night. Had to make the wife happy. What are you doing there, camera? Okay, so now I'm back. Got to get this done today. We're getting uh, three to six inches of snow tomorrow. So uh, definitely want to get this thing up and ready because my other one's a piece of shit. So here we go. Why are you doing that? Oh, it's a night vision. There we go. There we go. Amateurs, I tell you. Getting there. Starting to look like a snowblower now, huh? Boy, I tell you, working down on the ground, there's a lot of cold air coming through there. And I can't wait to get this thing done. Get that fridge up there. Fridge. Get this garage door up there. I got my little Resnor heater up there squeaking away. It's keeping her warm in here if you stand up. But it is negative four outside right now, so it is cold. It's gonna be a nice day of snow blowing tomorrow, though. Yippee! She's done. She's done. Now, how do I get her off the cart, off the pallet? That's gonna be the fun. <laughs> For. There's no place for it to go. Must just be an extra for future accessories. I don't know. I looked all over. I couldn't find anything. I guess I'll just zip tie it. I think I'll just zip tie it right here. I don't know what to do with it. It's going to get all full of snow and water and salt and Figure something out. I'll just zip tie it under here. Zip tie both these together. That's what I'll do. I'll zip tie them. Zip tie! It's close. Hold on, don't go nowhere. Maybe that's why they give you extra zip ties. Get under there, get her some protection. Maybe when I start it up, I'll figure out what's missing, but. There. Hold on.
Whoa! Where are you going? What's going on here? Cut it. Cut it already. There we go. So, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully that's the right thing to do. No, maybe I'll put some black tape over it too. Put some black tape over it. Tape it in there, seal it shut. There, I taped her up. Makes me feel better. They still keep the snow and stuff out of there, so. All right, let's get some oil in her and some gas and uh, let's get her fired up. One more thing I'm gonna do before we start her up. I'm gonna adjust my shoes. Look, you can tell, they need to be adjusted. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna adjust my shoes on the snowblower. Uh, Cause I like to run mine without shoes, or uh, I don't like to run my shoes. I like to go right on the blade. Does a real good job that way and I'm doing all concrete sidewalks and driveways so I don't have to worry about chewing up gravel or anything. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll lift these up just a little bit, make sure they're even on each side. So I don't wear my, you know, get through my blade and start running into my, uh, my bolts holding it on or into my actual carriage. So. Uh, I'll just, uh, what I like to do is I get a piece of cardboard, just a piece of cardboard, get them uh, even, see these move up and down, I got them loosened up already, so um, what I'll do is just slide that cardboard under there, then when that blade wears down, oh I really need a left handed camera, then when that blade wears down far enough and starts hitting those shoes, get under there. And I know it's time to uh, check it again and uh, see how we're doing, getting close to the carriage, getting close to the, uh, the bolts that hold it on. Just kind of a reminder to check it. So this way I'm not running my shoes, but I'm still, uh, still hitting it when it gets down low. That's uh, all well, there is to it. You just gotta make sure they're even on both sides. Otherwise you'll get it uneven when you're on your blade, then you're, then you're messing with it until you buy a new blade. So I'll do the same over here. what you're doing with the camera. Slide my cardboard under and go right ahead and tighten them up. He'd be at about, I don't know, 90 pounds of torque. There we go. This one here. Oh, there we go. All right. Now I really gotta adjust my shoe. Look at it. Look at it. All right. 